Lots of bad weather. Let's go to the BC Bad Weather Battle Board. Joey only from Interior Weather and Wilderness Watchers, and we have a lot of bad weather in British Columbia tonight. Holy cow, we got uh, snowfall warnings and winter storm warnings across the board. Let's have a look at these. Snowfall warnings for Arrow Lakes. Winter storm warning for Boundary, especially the Highway 3, Paulson Summit to Kootenai Pass. Snowfall warning for Bulkley Lakes in the Car uh, and District. Caribou, snowfall warning. Coastal, Central Coast, Inland Sections, winter storm warning. Chilcotin, snowfall warning. East Columbia, snowfall warning. Trans-Canada Highway, Eagle Pass to Rogers Pass, winter storm warning. East Kootenai, special weather statement. East Vancouver Island, snowfall warning. And wind warning. Elk Valley, snowfall warning. Fraser Canyon, winter storm warning. Fraser Valley, winter storm, snowfall warnings. Howe Sound, winter storm warning, especially along the Sea to Sky, Squamish to Whistler drought. Uh, section of the road, inland Vancouver Island, snowfall warning, Kin Basket, Yellowhead Highway, Tet Juan Cast to the Alberta border, snowfall warning, Kootenai Lake, snowfall warning, especially in the Highway 3, Paulson Pass to Kootenai Pass, winter storm warning for that area, the pass, McGregor, that's by Prince George, snowfall warning, Metro Vancouver, snowfall warning, Nicola, snowfall warning, Okanagan Connector to Merritt to Col Kelowna, North Coast Inland Sections, Winter Storm Warning. North Columbia, Winter Storm Warning. North Thompson, Winter Storm Warning. North Vancouver Island, Wind Warning. Okanagan Valley, Snowfall Warning, Snowfall Warning from the Merritt to Kelowna, Okanagan Connector. Prince George, Snowfall Warning. Shoe Swap, Snowfall Warning. Especially along the Trans-Canada Highway, Eagle Pass to Rogers Pass, Winter Storm. Snow, uh, Stuart Nachaco, Snowfall. Sunshine Coast, Snowfall and Wind. West Columbia, winter storm warning and winter storm warning. We already said Eagle Pass to Rogers Pass. That's uh, also West Columbia District. Winter storm warning for there. West Kootenai, snowfall warning. Highway 3, winter storm warning in the pass. West Vancouver Island, rainfall warning. Whistler, winter storm warning. Sea to Sky, Squamish to Whistler, winter storm warning. Yellowhead, snowfall warning. What does all of this mean? Well, in the Kinbasket, Arrow Lake, Slocan, West Kootenai, Kootenai Lake area, snowfall accumulations are 15 to 25 centimeters expected overnight tonight to Sunday morning. Snow will begin overnight and become heavy Saturday morning as a strong Pacific Funnel system crosses the BC Ontario interior. Heavy snow will taper to a few flurries Saturday overnight into Sunday morning. For Kootenai Lake, the highest snow will occur north of Creston. Prepare for quickly changing conditions. In the boundary area, we've already talked about the Paulson Pass, the Kootenai Pass. That uh, warning goes overnight tonight to Sunday morning. 25 to 35 centimeters in the snowfall amounts. Remarks. A strong Pacific Funnel system will move over the region tonight. Heavy snow will bring hazardous winter conditions along the highway. The heavy snow will ease Sunday morning. The total snowfall accumulation for this event is expected to reach up to 35 centimeters along some sections of the highway by Sunday morning. Consider postponing non-essential travel until conditions approve. Uh, improve. Rapidly accumulating snow could make travel difficult. Visibility may be reduced sometimes by heavy snow. Bulkley Valley in the Lakes District. A long period of snowfall, 10 to 20 centimeters expected. Locations, Utsa Lake and Burns Lake. Tonight to Saturday evening. Areas near Burns Lake can expect close to 10 centimeters of snow on Saturday. Greater, visibil uh, greater amounts are expected further south in the region. <clears throat> Caribou, Stuart Nachaco, Prince George, Yellowhead, Yellowhead Highway, Snowfall accumulations, 10 to 20 centimeters, overnight through Saturday evening. This strong Pacific system will move through the BC interior tonight and Saturday. Light snow from the system will begin overnight and become heavy on Saturday. The snow will taper to a few flurries. Saturday evening with a total accumulations of 10 to 20 centimeters. The higher amounts will be near the Caribou Mountains, such as right here where I am in Barkerville. Horsefly unlikely. We hardly ever get a mention. Thank you, Environment Canada. Yeah, I bet you will see 20, 30, 40 centimeters in the mountains. Chilcotin. 10 to 15 centimeters expected for you before a snow tapers off to a few flurries Saturday evening. East Vancouver Island can expect 10 centimeters of snow. We're talking about Courtney to Campbell River, Duncan to Nanaimo, Nanus Bay to Fanny Bay. East Vancouver and Sunshine Coast are the same. This evening through Saturday morning, snowfall accumulation 10 to 15 centimeters inland and higher over terrain. Temperatures could be cold enough to keep snow levels in the area, mainly between 200 and 300 meters above sea level. However, the heavy precipitation may allow snow levels to lower briefly closer to sea level. As a result, snowfall accumulations will range from 2 centimeters near sea level to 10 to 15 centimeters inland over higher terrain. Warmer air pushes inland Saturday, 
morning, allowing for the snow to change to rain. There's also a wind warning in effect. Courtney to Campbell River and a new spade to Fannie Bay. Strong winds may cause damage. They're expected or are occurring already. 70 to 90 kilometer an hour gusts of wind between now and Saturday morning. Locations are East Vancouver Island, including Nanu Bay to Fannie Bay, Courtney to Campbell River, Sunshine Coast. Strong winds with falling snow is expected to cause local blowing snow with reduced visibilities over inland sections of above the mentioned regions. The winds will strengthen early Saturday morning, gusting 70 to 90 kilometers an hour and ease midday Saturday. East Kootenai, you have a special weather statement including Invermere, south including Cranbrook, expect 5 to 10 centimeters. So you get a weather statement. You're the only ones under a warning of some kind. You must feel special. 5 to 10 centimeters. They just thought they'd put you on the list to uh, include you, I guess. Whereas over in Elk Valley, 10 to 20 centimeters with higher amounts expected near Fernie and Morrissey. That's Saturday morning through Saturday night. Near visibility, possible and blowing snow due to strong winds. Sparwood is expected to receive lesser amounts. Is this starting to sound like a weekend, like thing that happens every single weekend? Well, maybe. Winter storm warning in effect for Fraser Canyon, south including Lytton. The southern sections of Fraser Canyon, including Boston Bar, Yale, Spuzzum, Hell's Gate, Boothroyd. Uh, this evening, Friday, that's uh, into Saturday night. Snowfall accumulations, meet, uh, accumulations maybe 20 to 30 centimeters, except uh, 10 to 20 near Lytton. It's uh, generally a drier little place there, Lytton. So you're going to luck out and only get uh, maybe 20 if... Uh, Anyone still in the area hears this. Snow will become uh, begin this evening and become heavier Saturday morning. It should taper off to a few flurries by Saturday evening. Inland Vancouver Island is going to see heavy snow tonight, including Gold River, Port Alberni, Lake Cowichan, and Sutton Pass. Maybe 15 centimeters, 20 to 40 millimeters of rain is possible with rain on top of snow. Up to 15 centimeters of heavy wet snow is expected tonight. Warmer air will push into the island Saturday morning with rain forecasted tomorrow. For those of you in North Columbia, West Columbia, Trans-Canada Highway area, we're talking Eagle Pass to Rogers Pass, North Thompson as well. Overnight tonight into Sunday morning, maybe 15 to 25 centimeters for West Columbia, 20 to 30 centimeters for North Columbia and North Thompson, 25 to 35 centimeters for the Trans-Canada Highway. For North Thompson, the heaviest snow is forecast to be east of Clearwater. Okanagan Valley, central Okanagan, including Kelowna, north Okanagan, including Vernon, snowfall with total amounts 10 to 15 centimeters is expected. This is uh, Enderby, Lumby, Armstrong, West Kelowna, Peachland, overnight to Saturday evening, 10 to 15 centimeters of snow. Squamish, Sea to Sky Highway, Whistler, snowfall accumulations 30 to 50 centimeters. Wow! Locally windy conditions early Saturday morning may generate local blowing snow. 30 to 50 centimeters is forecast with Squamish area expected to be near the lower end of that range. Snow may change to a mixture of rain and snow near Squamish on Saturday afternoon before tapering off. Near Whistler expect the heavy snow to taper to flurries Saturday afternoon. So there you have it everybody. A totally messy weekend again it seems like every weekend's been like this and uh maybe it has been i mean uh, looking back a few weekends sort of seems that way it was uh definitely last weekend definitely was the weekend before but uh this is definitely more of a winter setup it's definitely snow driven cold driven we have a lot of uh, arctic air just been reaching into bc but not quite getting us completely and expect more of that definitely uh people up in the peace country ex felt some extreme temperatures last night they're probably pretty glad to see that ease and some of the moderating effects of the ocean's weather moving inland is helping uh, take that uh, extremely cold air and, you know, moderate it, as I say, just a little bit. So that's a uh, safe traveling if you're going to travel, but uh, I suggest you don't. The Omicron variants out there, snowstorms are out there, but we'll, what we will not avoid is avalanches. Uh, conditions are extreme. Sea to sky, heavy snowfall and strong winds are creating very dangerous avalanche conditions. Avoid all avalanche terrain with conservative margins and vigilant decision making. Large destructive avalanches are likely. <clears throat> South coast inland, new snow and strong winds are creating dangerous avalanche conditions. Travel and avalanche train is not recommended. Large avalanches likely. South coast, avoid avalanche terrain. It will be critical to manage your risk on Saturday. Stick to simple, low-angle slopes with no overhead hazard. Vancouver Island, high. These are extreme forecasts for avalanches, friends. Heavy, heavy snowfall and strong winds are creating very dangerous avalanche conditions. 
Avoid avalanche terrain. Stick to simple, low angle slopes and no overhead hazards. However, in the caribou, touchy storm slabs will form throughout the day on Saturday and be more reactive to wind affected terrain. Expect the danger to be high in localized areas that receive greater than 25 centimeters of snow. A concerning persistent slab problem exists in much of this region. Conditions look to be considerable. An alpine tree line below tree line, moderate by Monday below tree line. Not great forecasts. Parks Canada is also saying the same thing. The incoming storm will reach its peak Saturday afternoon. Expect a natural avalanche cycle to occur at that time. Uncertainty surrounds the effect of this storm on December 1st persistent week layer that's already there. Give large avalanche terrain a miss until this plays out. And conditions are much the same through North Columbia, South Columbia, Kootenai Boundary, Purcells, South Rockies, Lizard Flathead, and uh, Waterton Lakes National Park. So that's all your forecast. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time.